It is day number five of 30 GIMP tutorials and you're going to discover how to remove blemishes like a pro. So let's do it. To follow along and practice what you learn, go ahead and download this image from the link in the description below. One of the things I always recommend doing when retouching is to work non-destructively, which simply means applying your edits on a different layer versus the original image layer. If we apply our edits to this image layer and we by chance remove something we shouldn't have, let's say a beauty mark, and our client or if we decide later on that we want that included in the image, well if you didn't put it on a separate layer or at least edited it on a separate layer, then you can't get it back once you save the file and come back to it another day. So what we want to do is at least duplicate this image layer. We can double click here and rename it and let's call it skin retouch. That's one method of editing non-destructively. Let me show you how to do a couple retouches here real quick and then I'll show you the pro method for retouching non-destructively. We're going to use our heel tool which can be located right here on your toolbar or use the keyboard shortcut which is the letter H. So the way the heel tool works is it's going to take part of the image that you sample and tell GIMP, okay, use this texture and detail. It's going to gather that information, the pixel values, the luminance or the brightness and the colors, and it's going to use it to cover up the blemishes that you paint over, and it's going to blend them together for a natural result. So here's how we do that. I'm going to go ahead and grab my zoom tool first with the letter Z so I can zoom in here and then I'll press H again to get my heel tool. So before we can actually do it, we need to sample a part of her skin to be used to cover up the blemishes. So we have some different texture here versus over here, and it's a little bit darker here versus here. So we may need to sample both sides to blend them in. So let's try it out. We have a teeny tiny white blemish right here, so I want to get rid of that first. And I'm increasing my brush size here to be a little bit larger than the blemish that I want to remove. And I'm using my scroll wheel to resize that brush. I do have another tutorial that will show you how to set that up if you have a scroll wheel. If not, you can use your left bracket key to make it smaller and your right bracket key to make the brush size larger. So I'm going to hold down my control key and then click on the part of the image that I want to use as the reference point. So control, click, and then I can click once over that blemish and boom, it disappears. How cool is that? All right, so I want to sample another area for this huge blemish right here. So I'm going to come over here, control click right here. And now I can resize my brush if needed, even though I already set the sample point. So now I can click and hold down my left mouse button and paint over that area. Now I see a little bit of the edge of the brush right here. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to sample over here a little bit smaller. So control click here and then paint over this area. Now the other thing I recommend doing, I'm going to go ahead and click here a few times to blend this in a little bit, is I would recommend using a soft edged brush for best results. So if you look in your brush panel here, I have this brush selected right here, which is Hardness 075. If you're using this brush here, you're not going to get very good results. So make sure you're using a soft edged brush. All right, let's get rid of some of these other blemishes here. Control click and paint over there. Control click here, take care of this one. And then this one on this side. All right, so if we come over here to our skin retouch layer and we turn it off, we can see those blemishes are gone. So that's one method, like I mentioned, of working non-destructively. Here's the method I prefer and recommend. We're going to come down here and create a new layer. I'm going to call it Pro Skin Retouch. Make sure you have Fill Width set to Transparency and click OK. In the tool options, scroll down to the bottom and make sure you have Sample Merge selected. Now we're going to come over here again, control click and paint over some of these blemishes. Now what I'm doing is I'm keeping my left hand near that control button 
so I can quickly sample new points as I go along and retouch different parts of her skin here. So this area here is a little bit darker than the other parts of her skin around it. So we may need to do some dodging and burning. I'm gonna go ahead and blend these in a little bit. And dodging and burning is another editing technique and it's beyond the scope of this tutorial. It's something we will cover in a future tutorial. So I'm just holding down my control key as I go along here and picking out new sample areas and going over some of the areas I've already done just to help blend it in a little bit more. We have a little redness here, so I'm gonna go a little bit larger and just paint over that area. And then we have a little scar here, so I'm gonna control click right here. And then I'm gonna click and paint over this area by holding down my left mouse button. All right, so you might be wondering what's going on with that new layer that we just created. So I'm just gonna do a couple more here real quick and then I'll show you what we just did. So let's go ahead and get rid of these here real quick. Now real quick, I have another tip for you. When you get closer to a defined edge like this, like her chin and her jawline here, let's say there's a big blemish right along the line here, you may wanna to switch to your clone tool because it's not going to blend in that edge with the neck like the heel tool is, or use a smaller heel brush and zoom in real close so you can see where that line is for that cheekbone and her neck so it doesn't blend into her neck and then it's gonna look like she just has one big neck. So I'm gonna come over here and turn off these image layers here and you can see the edits that I applied on this layer and now we have more control and flexibility over the retouching we did for the skin, especially when you continue creating new layers for different parts of your retouching. So for example, I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna call it Eye Retouch. Now we can apply our eye edits to this layer and we can keep them separate from other types of edits. Again, so you have that flexibility to make adjustments to it later on. So we can come up here with our heel tool. I'm gonna to go ahead and make this smaller. I'm gonna control click and get rid of this little vessel right here. So now if I decide, you know what? I over edited the eye. It looks fake. It's too white. There's no texture, no detail. And I see a lot of images that are over edited when it comes to the eyes and they're pure white. Our eyes are not pure white. As you can see, it's more of a light grayish color than pure white. So if you over edit, you can always come back and make adjustments to just this layer. And if you wanted to, you could lower the opacity down to bring some of that texture back and it's separate from your pro skin retouch layer here, or whatever you call this layer. Then I would create another layer for the eyebrows, another one for the eyelashes, another one for the lips, and another one still yet for the hair. So again, we want to have that flexibility to come back to each individual layer to adjust them accordingly to get the final edit based on our creative vision. I'm going to hold down control shift plus J and it looks like I still have some blotchiness in her cheek right here. So I can always come back in with my heel tool. I'm going to use a larger brush and we want to make sure that we have the correct layer selected. Otherwise, we're going to start retouching on one of the other layers if selected. Control, click, and we're just going to blend this in a little bit. And that's looking a little bit better. All right, so check out that playlist there to your left to get some more pro tips on editing your images in GIMP. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.